Hello everybody, my name is Olya Sergeyeva and in this short tutorial I would like to show you a tool called EGSUM which is a very useful tool if you want to give your learners decoding practice, listening decoding practice because it makes it very easy to isolate specific words or expressions in your video and play them in isolation for the learners to analyze their actual pronunciation. So, in order to use that tool, you need two things. You need the video, and it should be stored locally on your computer, and you need, ideally, subtitles. So, I'm going to open my subtitles first. So, I go to this menu at the top, go click on File, and choose Open Subtitles. and here they are and I also need the video so again I go to the menu click on video and choose open video and here is my video the system of this tool is asking me which track I'd like to use I will just go with the first one and for this tutorial I'm using a lecture from the MIT open courseware that are downloaded from their site. So, the first uh, thing that you will notice is that you have your video uh, on the left, you have the subtitles and you can scroll through them, and you have this black area on the right, and this black area is going to turn out pretty useful in a minute. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to locate the start of the extract that I want to play. And to do that I'm going to find it in the subtitles. So I'm going to press Ctrl F and type idea because I know that this word occurs in that line. So, and here it is my line that I want to start with and in order to play the video from that line I double click on the line and then I use the play button that's right under the video the leftmost button. To give you an idea how long I've been here my first office was in building 20 and the offices in that building it, it was a, like a, a World War II barracks. It was all made of wood, basically. It's a wonder it didn't burn down, all the stuff that went on in there. But my office was huge. And, but the problem was that by the time I got there, it was pretty run down, and there was a hole in the wall, and squirrels used to run around <laughs> inside and then dash out, you know. Our cop right. So as you can see, the video window is pretty small and also there are subtitles so for the initial gist work I prefer to use a different uh, a different tool but uh, for the decoding work this program is fantastic and let me show you why. So one of the features of EGSUB is that you can choose any line in the subtitles and play that line in isolation. So for instance let me click on this line here and to play it, I need to use this button that's right uh, under the video and it's uh, to the right of the first play button that I showed you. So this play button in red square brackets. So I'm just going to pl click on that line, cl cl sorry, click on that button and the line is going to play. And the offices in that building, and the offices in that building, and the offices in that building. So this feature is extremely useful when you're doing dictations based on authentic video with your students or perhaps gap fills because it's very easy as you can see to replay individual lines as many times as you want and also to switch between the lines. Okay, so another feature that's extremely useful is I'm going to play this line again and have a look what's happening what's happening on the right here. Actually, I'm going to play a different line. So please pay attention to this area, what is happening. It's a wonder it didn't burn down. 
So you can see we could track the progress of the audio. And basically this area shows you the audio and you can right no you can left click and drag and uh, select any portion of the audio that you would like to replay. So let me select this and in order to replay it I either press just the space button. It's a wonder it didn't burn down. Or there is this button right under this area again in red square brackets. So again, it's very easy to replay. It's a wonder it didn't burn down. So how do I use this feature? I use it as a follow-up to the gap fill uh, to help the learners analyze the actual pronunciation of those words that they found it difficult to catch. So for example, in this sentence here, uh, the professor says, it's a wonder it didn't burn down. And supposing my learners couldn't hear the word didn't. And I would ask them to listen and tell me which sounds are missing from from the word as the speaker pronounces it. It's a wonder it didn't burn down. And I can isolate just the word didn't. Then, then, then. And when it's isolated like that, it's pretty easy to hear which sounds are missing. So in this case, it's pronounced d. So the second d and the last sound t are missing. Then, then. It's a wonder it didn't burn down. And one more thing that I can do with this tool is to actually find in this lecture more examples of the word didn't and to see if this pronunciation feature that you've just explored with the learners is consistent. So, okay. For example, this one. Let's play the line. I didn't know about that. So and let's isolate. Didn't know. Didn't know. Didn't know. And again, to me, it sounds like didn't know. Didn't know. Didn't know. And this one. God, yeah, didn't know was that much. A lot. Okay, this one was very quiet. What about this one. We'll come across a thousand things that you didn't even. Didn't even, didn't even. Okay, so this uh, this looks like a very consistent pronunciation feature. Okay, that was everything that I wanted to show you, and I hope that you find this tool useful when working on decoding skills with your learners.